Hi, it's Cammy. Charlie talks football. <laughs> so Newcastle beat Fulham 1-0 thanks to a Bruno Gamera's goal. But honestly, what a entertaining game it was in the first 20 minutes. Newcastle didn't play well at, at all. Yeah, I thought for the first 35 minutes, Newcastle were awful. They were breaking through the middle of the park too much. I thought we're... Wingers weren't tracking back. Um, they had a few chances yeah. and, and it looked like we were going to get hammered. But we were resilient, we hung on. I think Isaac had a couple of chances in the first half where his first touch let him down way along. Staff slipped him in. Um, and the, the, the other one where he's played through. But, you know, what a great result this is. It was, honestly. Um, and, I mean, the goal that got disallowed, I think, I think it was maybe a bit soft, but... It, there definitely was contact there and there definitely was a foul made there. So I think they probably, in the end, made the right decision to, to rule that goal out. Yeah, if it was New a Newcastle player, you'd be saying it was a blatant foul because yeah. he pushes him in the back. And I know it doesn't affect... He, um, go, the ball's already gone over him, but it affects him when he falls on the ground and he can't get back up to block the shot. Yeah. Sure had, so I think it was the right decision, even though it was frustrating. But, you know, Bruno coming up with the goods yeah, again, you know, he, it was a really good work. I think it was a back heel by Anderson that set Harvey Barnes two substitutes away. And then it get the Fulham player clears it back in the middle of the, yeah. of the of the box and Bruno just slams it in. Gordon was a lucky not to score, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Um, had a lot of chances and yes. he was unlucky not a not a. I thought goal. he was our biggest threat going forward. You know, in the first half when we were poor, he still posed a threat going forward. He's running, you know, he's going to come in on his inside once he went onto his left, which he doesn't usually do. And he yeah. just sort of pulled it wide a little bit, but he was he was a threat throughout the game. Um, but one thing I want to talk about is um, Joe Willock went down. Yeah, Charlie. cards for injuries. Yeah, again. I mean, Joe Willock. Some some sources are reporting that he had a fitness test before the game. Now, it'll be interesting to note, if he did, is this injury um, to do with his Achilles, which he's injured previously. So, it's not good if he has injured himself again. It doesn't look good on the decision made to play him, which will be frustrating. So, hopefully, it's nothing too serious. Yeah, and as well, I mean, they were lucky not to score. They had a lot of chances as well. I thought Lewis Hall... Dan Byrne and yeah. Shaw, that all worked incredibly hard. Yeah, I thought Shaw was brilliant at the back. You know, he's winning headers, he was clearing the, clearing the ball. He was unlucky with his goal that, I, you know, it didn't count. But he played a really good good game. And I thought we were really resilient in the second half because, you know, we've got loads of injuries. Yeah. We're missing with two main centre-halves. Well, not really. Shaw's one of our main ones. But, you know, two key centre-halves. Are, and, and we showed resilience. We're missing with left-back as well. So... You know, it's and Lewis Hall's a good left back. You know, yeah, he's he can... doing well. He's improved, and that there's a couple of things I still think when he's he's um, body positioning some some of the decisions he makes. But overall, he, he did he did well. And as well, it was funny because he brought on um, Dummett again, yeah. and we were sort of thinking, oh no, is this is this going to be a repeat of what happened in the Everton game? But no, mm. once Dummett and Richie came on, they made some yeah. really good blocks, and yeah. I a hundred percent agree with you. We were really resilient. There were times in that half where Fulham were dominating. They were creating, yeah. you know, so many chances. De Bravka as well. Thought I thought he played really well. And there was a time where we thought he was going to be injured. He had a bit of an injury yes. scare, but. I think, you know, we said it was done just so we could regroup and Eddie Howe could talk to the players, which certainly worked because, you know, once he did talk to the players, we were improved, didn't we? That was a really good point, Charlie, because in the first half, De Bradford was holding the back of his knee, yeah. went down for quite a long time and it gave some breathing space for the Newcastle team to regroup. They went to the side and had a drink and you could see how chastising them and having a go at them because he wasn't happy with the effort they were putting in. So whether that was done deliberately or not, I don't know, but it did give the opportunity to break up the plane for how to have a chat with them. Yeah, so another win towards yeah. Europe. Um... Exciting and, you know, the last three games we've got seven points and if we had been offered seven points before those three games, yeah. we would have took them definitely. Yeah. So that's really positive and, and, and when you don't play well in the first half and you don't concede, you know, that that's that's good because, you know, we could easily be in two or three yeah. down. And as well, coming into the game, I wasn't really very confident because, of course, Fulham have got, yeah. you know, a really good team. We did really well to limit the likes of um, Munez, yeah. who easily could have scored a goal. They were causing us a lot of problems with the pace of, of Willian and then they brought on substitutions and they were lucky not to score. So, 
for not just Newcastle fans, but for the neutral, it was a really, a really yeah. entertaining game, wasn't it? I thought um, a bit of an unsung hero is Kraft whenever he comes yeah, in at right he back. Was, he was solid. He, was really good. he does well. He got forward well with the ball. He made some good tackles. He made some good covering runs. Uh, you know, and he, he there was a I think it was Munez in the first half where he, the ball was bobbling in the end. Kraft yeah. just positioned his body in front of him and stopped him getting to it, which was really clever. Yeah, he doesn't really get talked about very yeah. much when he. When, when he starts, because obviously people will tend to focus on Bruno, who was fantastic. Yeah. He was played some great passes. The goal he scored was good. But Kraft does work hard and he, he made a lot of blocks in the game. He did, yeah. And I think the next game is um, Tottenham. Tottenham on Saturday, isn't it? Half 12 That'll kickoff. So tough, tough game. You know, I but... think certainly at St James's Park, we can certainly get a result, yeah. get a result against them. It's just been a really positive the last three games to pick up seven points. I think it's excellent. And it just helps to try and get that Europa <laughs> Conference League place, doesn't it? I think the top possibly eight teams might, or might get Europa a place. Or Europa League. You yeah, you've got know. to finish in the top, top eight, I think. You never know. But, you know, we'll just have to see how it goes. But... Um, I think did West Ham win today? Um, so that was yeah, yeah they yeah, did. So. They beat Wolves, so yeah. but we're only one point below them, so it's not actually too bad. Yeah. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I just wanted to say thanks for all the support on the recent videos because you know they've been doing fantastic. The last one we did, and um, it's a really interesting one about the potential luxury tax rule yeah. that could come in. So make sure to check that one out because it's doing really well. It's a really good video so make sure to subscribe as always we're pushing trying to get a 2000 yep. subscribers out we will get there we will. eventually but anyway let us know what you thought about the game let us we love reading your comments you know because it, it's, it's great to see what you've thought about the game to see if you agree or disagree with it but anyway guys make sure to subscribe see you guys later bye, bye.